Air pollution is the greatest risk we can talk about today. Air pollution decreasing can decrease a lot of diseases like lung diseases, chronic diseases, even the heart strokes. Who has stated that air pollution if decreases can decrease the cause of heart rates but increases can go into severe conditions. Today we have Dr. Nair with us who is going to burst the myth about the pollution. So uh, when we start talking about the pollution doctor, uh, during the pollution, especially in Delhi, if we talk about Delhi, I think pollution increases not even the chronic diseases but the heart rate, heart, you know, like a lot of diseases also. But what harm does it give to your health overall, not just only lungs? So, uh, pollution will affect each and every part of your body, right from head to toe. So, it's a misconception if something is only affects the lungs. No. It, of course, lungs because it's uh, directly involved, it is the first uh, organ to be involved, but still. Uh, right from uh, like I said, like, um, eye, uh, the warting of the eye, the warting of the ear, the th burning sensation in the throat and then pollutant going into the lungs causing all various problems in the lungs and then that pollutant getting absorbed and going to in, uh, from the blood going to all parts of the body. So we have a direct cardiac effect, we have a dizziness, headache, lack of concentrations because it's affecting the brain, then it's affecting the adrenal, the kidneys, all parts are affected. So, uh, pollution increases. So, I think risk of getting more asthmatic patients or somebody who's already dealing with asthma, how does that affect them and how does asthma normally work like into the people who have no asthma? So, when the patients are asthmatic, the asthmatics are not as bad as COPD, but they have got an in between uh, improvement also. It's a reversible disease, it's not a permanent bad lungs. Sometimes patients are absolutely asymptomatic, they don't have any problem. But asthma can, if they take the inhalers properly, most of the asthmatic do pretty well. However, when the pollutant, uh, the pollution is there or some viral infection is there, then there is an attack of asthma, so it's a acute exacerbation. And when they require a higher dose of uh, medication. So you always tell our patient that whenever you are uh, an asthmatic, please, even if you don't have problems, Please keep on taking the medication because the medicine which we are giving it to you is not only uh, treating you, it's preventing you to go for a better, for the worse uh, problems. Okay, so uh, when pollution increases uh, while breathing in, what kind of chemicals are we taking in which are actually, you know, like, um, we have a lot of smoke, ho hai. so, puff, ho hai, uh, and sneezing, cough, and I think what is the basic symptoms? Abhi jab se especially Delhi mein abhi ek do mahine se bada hai, logo ko itna zada cough ho raha hai, and I think sometimes people get viral also. So oh, what kind of chemicals are we taking in while breathing? So when we are breathing, there are a lot of toxic gases which comes: the nitrous, nitric oxide, sulfur oxide, carbon monoxide. Carbon. So these are the all toxic gases which we inhale, especially when there is a vehicular pollution, which is full of it. The other thing which we are we commonly we uh, talk about is the PM 2.5 that yeah. is basically the smaller pollutant whose size is less than 2.5 microns. So why are we talk about so much of 2.5 microns because that is the size of the particle which can directly can be inhaled and it can directly enter the uh, your uh, lungs. So uh, when these uh, enter your lungs, they can enter into the various part of the body and then they can cause more harm. So PM 2.5 is one of the biggest threat pollution to us. So when we talk about pollution, we have three kind of categories. The children we are talking about, the new middle aged people and then we have the elderly people. And I think middle aged people are unfit for a sustained life because of I think strong lung power or a strong you know health. But then in the younger people and elder people, they both have kind of the same level of health. So how does they affect more to them rather than being a proper healthy and a middle aged person? So each and every age group is affected. It's not that only the extremes of age is affected. But in extremes of ages, we have a low immunity. We have a barrier, less barrier to fight with the pollution. The younger children hardly have any barrier to the pollutant which they are exposed to. 
even the elderly they have already you know uh, run out of uh, that immunity which they were having it about few years back so they are also more prone to get affected by the pollution but of course middle age are also equally affected and get equally problematic moreover the elderly might have some other disease also for a heart disease or some kidney disease or some other problem and when they get affected by pollution their disease get aggravated the other ones are yet to make that you know the immunity and uh, we are exposing them to the uh, pollutant so they also get uh, very bad uh, hit by it. so when we talk about co2 and pollution how does they you know go parallel with each other so COPD is actually a man-made disease. It's a basically you have bought this disease. Unlike asthma, asthma is inherited. That I am asthmatic, or my parents were there, so I'm more prone to it. That's okay. But COPD is you know because you're exposed to the toxic gases. You were smoking. Uh, you were going for chula smoking. You were in, uh, going to inhale the toxic gases. You were uh, having uh, vehicular pollution. You were exposed to that. Uh, not going for uh, you know. Uh, sharing basis you are going for one vehicle one person I, i think this is the high time when we need start doing it we car pooling or a vehicle pooling should be done because vehicles are one of the most dreaded uh, pollutant then so many uh, construction going on who are not taking proper precautions of covering it and doing doing it they can also cause a lot of pollution and they all cause copd and many other diseases and copd is because of the pollution or whatever the harmful effects we have done the out outlying outside pollutants so when we talk about pollution so delhi mein ya fir all over world bahut sara pollution hai and if we talk about specific states and there are a lot of other states right now let's talk about delhi so abhi delhi mein jaise jaise thand aati rehti hai waise waise pollution bhi badhta rehta hai and i think especially in the major areas of post diwali till i think january aapko pata hi lagta hai 80% time either this is a cold fog और इट इज अग आप वो मिक्स होकर पूरा स्मॉक बन जाता है पीपल थिंक इट्स डेंस स्मॉक बट इट्स मिक्स इज वर्थ स्मोक सो आई थिंक अभी बारिश की वजह से सारा स्मोक हट गया था अगेन एंड स्टार्ट आफ्टर दिवाली सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रिजर्वेटिव मेजर्स पर्सन कैन टेक क्योंकि अभी वी कैन नॉट डू एवरी थिंग अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट बट वी कैन डू इट फॉर आर सर वॉट आर द प्रिजर्वेटिव मेजर्स एवरीबडी इज ट्रेवलिंग एवरी डे और इन द होम ऑल्सो दे कैन डू एंड हाउ ट्रांसपोर्टर then uh, even uh, burning of uh, uh, incense sticks the burning of woods for the heat and this you know all these farmers burning the panali yes it is right. really harming us why not give some farmers how the tricks how to dispose of their you know dhan because which is not used to be the bada sahana ke burn kar do they don't understand how much pollution it is causing even uh, when we are going outside even we are not using the uh our vehicles but still outside road pollution is so much and many of these uh, uncovered uh, the drains and everything there uh, so much pollution construction going on so they are also causing a lot of pollution and uh, there we should uh, try to avoid it so these are the things which we talk about the uh, how to do it from home second point which you asked about about the purifier yes purifier does work but only for those who are confined to one room if you and me are working outside how much purifier will work on us because we are staying at home only during night and we are only we always outside we can't carry purifier out there but even of those who stay at home the purifier i'm please requesting them they have to keep three four things in their mind before they buy a purifier one the purifier is meant for that particular area so if 5 by 5 room a purifier you buy it that might not be good for a 10 by 10 purifier so if you take the same purifier to a bigger room it will stop working if it's not meant for that number 2 should be of a good quality which uh, actually does that what they say uh, there was a time when we used to have a uv uh, ultraviolet uh, purifier which is not no longer used because uv itself can cause the pollution so now there are different uh, way of the purifier work 
Third thing, of course, when you are uh, in a place where uh, it's a lock, then only, only purifier works. If your windows are open, doors are open, it will not work to that extent. So purifier, of course, you have to have keep something in mind before you buy it. So when we talk about mask also, so people say that uh, our mask can make it. So how does mask work? Like, does it work using such a pollution, or is it just a waste? Where does it contribute? So COVID has taught us few things. One is how to wear mask and what is the importance of wearing a mask because say better than mask does that need. If we wear pollution, we wear mask. Then normal mask does not work. Like I said, the PM 2.5, the smaller particle, can easily pass through it. It's only N95 or N99 which can really. The one with the yeah, with the you know the smaller pores, they are the N95 we call it. और N95 नहीं N95 वो 95 परसेंट ऑफ़ द पोल्यूशन इट रोक लेता है इसलिए N95 नहीं रोक सकते हैं वो आपके काफी पोल्यूशन को रोक सकता है पर डेट अगेन प्रॉपर्ली फिटेड स्नगली फिटेड एंड देन यू वेयर इट ऐसा नहीं कि लूज जहाँ से लूज है वहाँ से लूज है एंड आई कैन शो यू एंड टाइम सो मेनी पीपल गोइंग आउटसाइड so when we talk about pollution, do you think government is taking any kind of uh, measures? And like you know, uh, government, a uh, basic public, what all we can do to reduce the pollution is government helping us in any way? Because I think December may uh, this is thing odd and eve. Does it reduces the kind of uh, pollution which is going on every day? So uh, with due respect to any government which comes, but I would like to ask uh, government, I have no harm, hard feelings. I know they are doing their best, but at the same time, why do we have pollution every year? Last to last year, bhi tha, last year bhi tha, to is year bhi hai. Is ka matlab do saal se apne bhi tak socha nahi kya ho. कोई अचानक चीज आ जाए तो कोविड अचानक आए तो वी वर नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर इट तो ठीक है प्लान नहीं था मैं मालूम था कैसे इंफेक्शन आता है पोल्यूशन तो हर साल आ रहा है इसलिए इतने सालों से आ रहा है पराली अभी भी बंद हो रही है चाहे वो पंजाब से आके हरियाणा से आके डेलीएड्स आर uh, lot of ex I expect a lot of things extra for the government to be done. Of course, they are doing their best, whatever, to some extent, but I still think they can do even more to stop this pollution. So, thank you so much, Dr. Nayar, for uh, telling people and bursting the myth about the pollution. I hope you guys have, uh, we have helped you bursting a lot of myths and we have helped you how to preserve yourself and your family's health regarding the chest and anything that can cause pollution uh, into your family either it can be a heart stroke or any kind of a respiratory problem I hope we have helped you and Dr. Nair might have helped you in some way so that you guys can help you and your families and your friends by telling them that uh, you know how it harms you thank you have a great day